Hey guys, Dr. Zeta at Z Center. We're going to talk a little bit about Botox dosing. Uh, if you check out the videos that we did previously where we treated Casey with Botox, we treated her frown line area, which is technically called the glabellar area, the forehead. We did some for her gummy smiles and also some for her chin. Now, Botox dosing or Dysport or Xeomin or Juvo, which are the other brands, their dosing is done by units. The unit is just an arbitrary number. Um, so even though the numbers sometimes sound high, doesn't mean you're necessarily getting a lot of product. So it doesn't go by age, it goes by muscle strength, how much of a dosage that you need. So some people with stronger muscles will need more dosage than those who don't have as strong muscles. And that's whether it's preventative or whether you're trying to significantly reduce or even sometimes freeze the muscle in question. So for the glabellar area, the frown line area, Average number of dosing can go anywhere from 15 to 40 units, depending on the muscle strength. More commonly, the average number is anywhere between 20 to 25 units. For example, for Casey's muscle strength, frown for me nice and big, we did 20 units to cover that area, and I think that should give her a nice reduction. Forehead will also vary anywhere from an average of about 10 to 20 units. I tend to go a little bit more conservatively because I want the results to be natural. So we did 10 units for Casey's forehead, which is below the average. Um, the gummy smile can take anywhere from about two to five units per side. We did two and a half units per side based on her muscle strength. And the chin can usually do anywhere from about four to eight units. We did five units in, in her chin. But the important thing is that you evaluate, once the Botox is kicked in, evaluate that muscle function to determine whether you, that was an appropriate dosage or whether more is required to achieve the optimal results. At our practice, we offer a complimentary two-week follow-up appointment where we examine your muscle strength post-treatment once everything is kicked in, we compare your pictures, and then we decide whether you need more or whether the dosage that we gave is good for you. So there's a lot of things to consider when um, looking for a Botox treatment. So it's not just cut and dry units. It's not 20 units covering all the areas. You know, it's really important to evaluate each muscle and its strength individually and determine what the optimal number of units are for that area. So if you have any more questions, feel free to get in touch with them. We're always happy to help. Thanks.